Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will be discussing the Schema Surf functionality within DBA Express. Schema Surf allows you to visualize your database object dependencies. This includes any runtime dependencies. This functionality is especially helpful when you are contemplating changing your database object or objects, and you need to understand what other database objects your changes would affect. You can launch the Schema Surf functionality by clicking on the tile in the workbench. Once you launch the Schema Surf, the Connect to Database dialog will pop up. Here you will enter a database connection, choose an authentication method, and select the database you are interested in. After clicking the OK button, you will see the Welcome to Schema Surf message show up in the diagram pane. In the lower left of the Navigate pane, we can expand the folders and select the object that we are interested in viewing. The object and its dependencies will now show up in the diagram pane. The selected object will be displayed with a border around it. When hovering over an object in the diagram, a tooltip will display the number of inbound and outbound references that are present for that object. You will also see an icon between the objects. Hovering over these icons will describe the type of dependency that exists. Please note that clicking on different objects in the diagram will shift the focus to display the dependencies for the newly selected object. You also have the option to click and drag within the diagram pane to view the other objects that are present. Schema Surf allows you to change the look of the diagram by using the right-click context menu on each of the nodes. These options allow you to remove nodes and dependencies, add color to the nodes and dependencies, and view the script for each of these nodes. The Schema Surf toolbar options are mostly self-explanatory. However, I'd like to discuss the Save Surf Image button, the Navigation buttons, and the Filter button in a bit more detail. The Save Surf Image button allows you to save your diagram as either a bitmap, JPEG, or ping image. The navigation buttons allow you to go forward or backward between the nodes on your diagram. Finally, the filter button allows you to apply, add, edit, and remove filters. For more information on filters, please refer to the details provided within the object browser video here. The toolbar under the View tab provides several more options for viewing the Schema Surf diagram. Among these options are the ability to zoom in and out, change the layout of the diagram, choose how many levels of dependencies to display, provide the ability to show the indirect dependency route of an object or not, and finally, filter the diagram by dependency type such as executable, key, schema, or XML. You can find more information on all of the toolbar options and more in this link to our user guide. If you have any questions about this information or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.centuryone.com. Thanks for watching.